Hello traders, it's Ray here, better known as Samurai Trader and I love day trading. So welcome. My job is to teach you how to day trade the world's best day trading strategies no matter which market you trade, whether you be a futures trader, forex or a stock trader. Now before we do get underway, please make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little red button below and that way you'll make sure that you're up to date with all of my most recent videos. Now there are three main types of setups that we generally look for and in today's uh, webinar I'm going to be teaching you how to look for the main setups reading price action from the right hand side of a chart because traders that's where really the rubber meets the road it's very easy for us to look back over a whole chart but I'm going to show you candle by candle exactly what we're looking for now to, in today's session we're going to be focused on the forex and currency futures markets however please remember that patterns in the markets appear in all markets and time frames in other words what I show you here on the currency futures markets today you can apply to general futures forex and stocks as you'll discover it doesn't really matter which market you're trading so we're going to be looking at how to scalp how to day trade and how to pick up the home runs now I am going to limit this uh, video to around 30 minutes so as per normal uh, uh, I do have um, now one new video coming out virtually every day so um, you'll be able to if we don't get to everything I suppose you'll be able to catch up and I'll cover it in the next video and as always traders my videos are, are pretty formal informal I should say <laughs> there you go straight away uh, any mistakes I make are not cut out so what you see is raw real and direct so first of all the risk disclaimer I think you all know there is a risk in trading please feel uh, uh, free to pause the recording to watch the disclaimer the important stuff please click on the download link below and you'll be able to get a free copy of my training manual and most importantly as I mentioned please subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking that button below and give me a big thumbs up please uh, because I put a lot of work into a pre preparing these videos so let's now get straight into this and you know what this turns off a lot of traders they don't want to really look at the hard stuff and believe it or not some of the hard stuff is really sitting down and planning how are we going to approach the market what sort of time frame are we going to trade what's my trading plan etc etc so as I state here everyone here wants to see the view from the top of the mountain but few are willing to do the work required to get to the top so setting your trading goals and objectives is really some of the first steps in your trading journal what do you wish to achieve financially as a trader and how do we get you there now I'd love to use the, the the quote you know there are very few rich hermits and that is my job as a trading coach is to really work with you on achieving your goals now a couple of really important things on doing this I have now over 9,000 members and I have over 200 attend my weekly coaching classes and when I've looked back over the years and I've been now doing this for 27 years most traders that that fall to the wayside it's really it's generally due to bad habits and it's so important that we look at the habits that we require as a trader and that really comes down to our trading plan so some of the habits are for an example counter trend trading uh, not following our money management rules etc now I know some of this we can say is really comes down to discipline also but I think it's all mashed together but the key point I really want to get across here before we move on is really your financial goals because when you've got a big enough why all of a sudden it's so much easier to find the how so as we're going to be looking at the currency futures market I want to sort of really start to whet your appetite and I'm going to show you how you can do this I'm just looking at on another screen at the moment the markets and um, I'm recording this at around 5 p.m. Australian time Sydney time and this has been a couple of great trades fire off and when I show you these uh, I'll go he if you didn't pick these trades as well and what it means to you from the bottom line because if you start off with 
$2,200. Now you may think, why $2,200? Well, let me just quickly show you this. I think this is really important that I actually cover this. Where are we here? Uh, let me just um, go here. Okay, let's have a look just here. Now what I've got here is the futures margins rate. Now as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about the currency futures because when you trade currency futures, depending on your broker, you're only going to be paying around $5 round turn. Now a currency futures contract, say on the Australian dollar that we're going to be looking at, uh, each pip or tick because it's a futures contract is worth $5, it's half a pip. So if you were to say, compare it to say trading Forex, effectively you could argue that, you know, look, you're paying $5, it's really half of what you'd normally trade or pay with most Forex brokers. Now down here, if we look at this here, you'll see that with my broker TradeStation, if I wish to trade the Australian dollar, the AD, and we'll have a look at how that compares to the um, AUD USD, I need in my account around $1,900, $2,000, okay? Now you can day trade with half of that, but let's look at the worst case scenario. So, so with that being said, of course, if you start, or if you're really strapped for cash, you can start trading the straight spot Forex market with really four or $500. So there are cheaper alternatives, but humor me in this video, and let's assume here that you've got $2,200. Now, why $2,200 when you just saw that you only needed $1,980? You wanna have a buffer account. It's so important that you allow, particularly when you first start trading, a bit of a buffer that if you make mistakes. Now, what I've got here is a compound table, which clearly shows you, well, maybe it's not so clear, <laughs> yes, it will be in a moment, that if you start off with $2,200 and you're earning $100 a day, humor me, I will show you how to do this practically and realistically in a moment. So if you've got $2,200 and you, you earn $100 a day per contract, if you compound your money, that is, you, as soon as you get another $2,200, you start trading two contracts. Once you have another, a further $2,000 or $2,200 in your account, so you're up to $6,600, you start trading three and so on. Within here, week 17, you've got the potential of earning between or around the $10,000, $11,000 mark based upon $100 a day. Now, Remove your skepticism just while you watch this video when I show you, until I show you how to practically do it, right? The sign of an intelligent person is how open you are to new ideas. So within 17 weeks, if your goal was that much, you got the potential of getting there. Now, realistically, traders, as you develop your skill set and your account size, we can see here it's growing and growing. If we continue to do that over a year, we're up to 1.5 million. We actually would lower our risk factor because this is based upon never ever risking any more than 2% of our account size. And I think that's absolutely critical that you know that, a maximum of 2%. Now, using a one tick Renko scalping chart, what you require is four net six tick trades a day. That's four $30 trades a day. Because on the Australian dollar, it's $5, five US a tick, uh, less than your commissions, okay? That's gonna get us up there uh, at 100 net. If you're trading DEC, which is the Euro USD, that's four net five tick trades a day because the Euro dollar, uh, when you trade the currency futures, which models the uh, the Forex market exactly, it's $6.25 a tick. So you only need four net five tick trades a day to hit your goal. Now, Dick Diamond in his great book, uh, Trading is a Business, he talks about what are the 80% trades. He's looking for the best of the best. And I want you to remember our 80% trades are our 34 Bs and our two Bs. Now. What about for those that really want to go for it, that are willing to put in four or five hours a day into their day trading career? 
Now here, if we do or if we target the exact same account size uh, and $125, okay, and, and let me just remind you here, our stop loss on a one tick chart is only going to be $30. That's right, $30, which means once again, we technically only need $1,500 in our account plus a bit of a buffer. So there's a ton of leeway here and I'll show you in a moment why it's only six ticks. We'll see that when we get to the chart, but this is important. You put the work in 125 a day, which is five net six tick trades a day. You're up there 10,000 a week within 13 weeks. But of course you're gonna drop from 2% risk down to one and a half and down to 1% and longer term even better 0.5%. Remember traders, there are old traders, there are bold traders, but there are no old bold traders. Meaning over time, we need to become more conservative with our trading, which makes our job a whole lot easier. Now, when we get to the charts, and if you've seen my other videos, I refer to constantly pilots, as pilots have checklists. Okay, so they're constantly checking off the checklists uh, as they trade. They have a trading plan, or, or I should say really a flight plan, don't they? And so what you've got to do is to learn to uh, really read your instruments being your indicators. And I'm going to be showing you how I do that. Now, the other key factor is we want to be trading in the direction of a higher time frame. That is Robert Miner in his hex excellent book on momentum trading, where the core strategy for him and for many others is to trade, is to really take these retracements, these pullbacks and trade in the direction of the higher time frame. When we go through the charts in a moment, what's so important is that you have a growth mindset orientated. Don't look at it why these don't work. I want you to consider the logic why these setups do work. The setups work because on the smaller time frame, we're looking for a pullback and then a trend continuation. A pullback and a trend continuation. Uh, and if you look at, say, G Man from SB Capital, a million dollar plus earner who scalps the market, it's exactly what he does. He simply looks for a pullback. He then will take his first profit out of this point here. And the second, he'll wait for a trend line break. Now, our approach is a little bit simpler and I think just as if not more effective as you're about to see but that is what we're doing and that's why the logic is so good. Now what I will point out is this, we're going to have some golden divergence trades set up and I'm going to be teaching you how we locate these golden divergence trades. Very, very important and very quickly as we go to the charts, everything I show you here you can obtain all of my indicators, the works, including every one of my setups for $197 plus you can attend my coaching program for a month. That's eight live and recorded private group coaching ses sessions. This month actually I've been running them for three years and I've got over 200 traders. Many of them are full-time professionals in these sessions. This is the last program you'll ever need. And if you wish to continue as hundreds of traders do each month, it's only 97 a month cancel. That's the end of the ad. So what we're now going to do, we're going to get straight to the charts. So as I mentioned, where I'm recording this now, this is now 17, 13 p.m. Uh, the London market has just opened. So we've got, um, uh, let me just make sure I've got my, my times right. <laughs> Uh, we've got now um, uh, Germany's open, London's fired up. So we're going to see a lot more volume in the market. Now, first thing I want to show you here, just um, so you're very aware of this, what I've got just here on the left is the AUD USD. And over here, I've got the uh, currency futures contract. They, ba they model, basically model each other, as you can see, almost exactly. But of course, this is what the futures contract works on. So in other words, if you are a Forex trader, what I'm showing you here is that, uh, you apply the exact same rules. Now, also you may notice I'm using Renko charts. Renko charts are brilliant because they smooth out price action.
Now, Renko charts are not available on every platform. For example, if you're trading with MT4 or MC5, you'll need to invest in the uh, into a plugin, and there's some excellent uh, plugins for MT4 and 5 you can get for around $50 for a lifetime license. But what is important, traders, you get the ones with the tails because that's important for when we set our stop losses. Now, if you use time based charts, or maybe um, uh, you like your tick charts, we're going to apply exactly the same thing to either tick and time. Okay, in fact, I always have my tick charts up above, I've got six screens here, so I always have my tick charts above the Renko because at times you'll get to see patterns on your tick that you won't see on the Renko because the Renko will smooth it out, um, it really smooths price action out, sometimes a little too much. However, for the short term traders, the Renko charts really, it really spoils you, become quite spoiled. So if we look at this right here now, now this is um, uh, our Central Standard Time here. Uh, so we can see this is 5 p.m., uh, as I said, five, actually 17.16, it's 5.16 p.m. in my part of the world. So Europe is really starting to fire up. Now what you can see on my charts here I've got three charts and we call this the EC, the AC1, the AC2. That's entry chart, anchor chart one, anchor chart two. We don't trade off these charts, but we use these for trend direction. What's the bias of the trend? But what is also critical is besides the bias of the overall trend is the trend and the angle of the EMAs that I use and also particularly the divergence. Now, if you look at this just here, now I use a custom MACD. When you become a member, I give you all the settings for all of these. And I've got a stack of indicators and whatever. But here's what the great news is, and I should just say this. You can set these charts up on any platform. There's no expensive indicators to buy. These are your most common indicators. The only thing might be is the Renko. Um, and I don't sell it. You just, online there's a heap of them. If you become a member, yes, there is someone I refer you to. I don't even know him, but a lot of members for MT4 and 5 have purchased them for $50 and they love it. It will do exactly the same here. So um, that's the good news. Now, I mentioned to you that there's really a number of things that we're looking for. We're looking for trend continuation trades, trend reversal and divergence. Okay, I'm not, I don't like range bound trading. I am a momentum trader that's what I do and that's what I recommend that you do now I'll pick out and I'll trade the the top quality divergence trades for an example this one just here now you can say well look it's already set up but look remember that flight that picture I had there of the pilot we're looking at our instruments and if you're in my coaching room you'll hear me see me do this every day but he right here I've got a high high in price, I've got a lower high on my MACD, and what I'm waiting for, let me click on this so we get to the right spot, just there, this is exactly what you'd be looking at, and let's just go over here. Okay, so at the time when this was setting up um, uh, half an hour or so ago, uh, you look at this here, and this is one great thing, now this is a short term one tick, which means you need to be on the ball. Okay, you've only got sometimes seconds to get ready for a trade. However, you can always use a market order, uh, even though you might get a tick of slippage, but you see here you get these great moves. Now, by the way, we call these steps. Each one of these steps here on this market, these are a one tick or one pip Renko. It's really half a pip. It's $5. Every one of these is $5. Now, remember on the PowerPoint, let me just show you this here again. To achieve our 125 a day, what we want is five net trades after losses and after commissions, uh, that's after losses, but this includes our commissions, five net six tick trades a day. So what I'm looking for is here, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me explain out the, the best entries and I'll explain why we would have gone <coughs> for those. Oh, let me finish this divergence trait, sorry. All right, as we set this up, CV angulation here, this is what you call angulation, how price action is angling strongly away from the other EMAs, right? And the term angulation was really made quite famous by Bill Williams from Profit Unity. He really is the, if you like, the godfather of fractal trading, of trading with fractals, these little black dots that you'll actually see here. And the greater the angle, the, the greater the opportunity of having an actual, uh, what I call a snapback or a mean reversion trade where, where it comes back down for us. So if we look over here to the, um, uh, to the right with our divergence, here we've got a little bit of divergence, very little, okay? Over here we've got some major divergence on our anchor chart two. Now when we've got divergence on the anchor chart two, uh, what we're looking for to confirm the entry is three lower closes. Now let's just look at the timing for that. 15, 15, 15. You had um, two minutes, basically two minutes to put that order in or to get ready for it. And what we've actually got is a little formula depending on the, and I've actually, have I got that, um, where did I put that? Let me just see if I've got it on this PowerPoint. Did I put it on here? Here I am talking to myself about this. Uh, maybe I, let me just check my AUD folder. Uh, here we are, this one here. Let me pull this up. So what I've got, oh no, it's on another sheet. Oh no, here it is here. All right, so what you're gonna do is for a one tick Ranko, we're gonna be trading what we call the T1 which is in at the close of a third brick. And that's very deliberate because what we want traders, we want to see, particularly if it's counter trend trade, we want to really confirm that the trend has continued. So what we're going to do, we're going to count four ticks from the high or the low. So let me show you this here. Let's get back down to this. Oops. So as soon as I see my first reversal candle, that's what I call my get set. This, okay, the this, this second one is... Uh, sorry, get ready, get set, and the third close is a go. Now what actually happens is, when you have your get ready, you simply count down four ticks, one, two, three, four, and I'd put a sell stop in. Now what a sell stop does, it allows me to put an order in the market one tick in advance. And if the market only ticks down twice, uh, two um, pips, it turns around and goes back up. I just cancel the order or I can drag my order up. But what it actually does is in a really fast moving market, so I've got time to get that in then. It allows me to be swept in and stopped into the trade to pick that trade up, right? So, you know, it really allows me to maximize the move. Now, remember, we're only looking for on these six steps from here. So I've got a six tick stop. Now, why is that six ticks? Well, if I used a sell stop, it's here. One, two, three, four, five. And I like my stop one tick above or one tick below the swing low or the swing high. Now, when you have, we call this a one or a 2D. We, this one is actually a 1D. And it's a top quality one, meaning it's on the highest time frame. Our general target's going to be down here at the 200 EMA. Now, the general rule of thumb is when you trade, traders, that if you're above the 200, you're looking for longs. If you're below the 200, you're looking for shorts. And if you close below, but there's still potential to come back up again, uh, what you want to look for is divergence to confirm the trend continuation. So we would short that here based upon our divergence trade and down we go. Now, what we can see here is rather than a six step move, you actually had there, uh, let's just see here, that's one, two, it's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, always discount the last tick because really to be filled, you're gonna to have to tick through. So really there's at least 12 to 14 ticks at 60 to $70 in that move.
Now, I will point out that, say if you're trading two contracts, what I'd recommend is you take your first contract off at five or six ticks, get the cash register ring. In fact, I think I even had this here. There's a whole range of different exit strategies you can be using here, a whole range of them, which I train members in. But what you wanna do is really focus on just one. You don't wanna be trying to trade all of these. However, there are some times when we exit our trades early. So down we come. Notice here, I've now had another 200 EMA overshoot just there. That is generally a good sign that I'm going to have a retracement and a trend continuation. Okay, so one of the ways we can pick these runners up is using the Jake Bernstein, what we call the eight by eight method. And that's using an eight period open and close EMA and using that to trail, which works really effectively. But I fine tune it to a seven cross eight on the anchor chart one. That will allow you as long as you wait until the crossover, it'll allow you to pick these beautiful runs up. Okay, it works very, very effectively. So talking about the markets now, what's actually happening in the market right now? So why don't we just for the sake of it, just continue with what we can see here and I'll call it trade by trade. Now, I've now got a new lower low. I've got some divergence. Okay, I'm not gonna move these, so let's just focus on this. As we come up, I'm now looking for that right there, I've got a 34B. Now with that 34B, uh, I can enter on the first candle, we call that rule of one, or wait for the super scalp on my white paint bar. Okay, and I can enter now. Now I would take the trade, I would short, my target is six ticks, and I would go to break even at usually between four and five ticks. Now, if I'm using a sell stop, I'm gonna be in now, and down I come, one, two. Now here, I can already see, I get stopped on that trade. So nice little winner. I won't even tell you about those because they were just walk in the park winners. But here, I just got stopped on a trade. That's trading, okay? Do you know what happens? We don't trade on based upon the one trade, we trade in probabilities of 20. We trade like a casino. You basically have your own casino here. Does a casino change uh, its trading rules or I should say the casino rules because they have two or three losing trades in a row? Or hands are, of course not, they don't because they believe in probabilities and their money management. So we're gonna get straight back onto this one here. This trade is what we call a 2B. A 2B is a good 85 on average, if you trade them right, a good 85% accurate. It's really the, the top trade we have. This is a 2B right here. Now, once again, if I'm using, let's assume I'm using a sell stop, okay? Which means I would be in now. Now, to get a one-to-one -one return, I need six ticks or pips down. If we were trading Forex, I'd call them pips, okay? But because we're on a futures contract, I'll call it tick. So one, two, two three, four. Now, uh, four, five, I've touched five. Here we go. Oh, and by the way, we consider going to break even at that stage. You've hit plus five, plus six, um, and down we come and you romp your six in. Now, I will point this out. Going to break even will cause this quite often. Uh, one, two, three, oh no, we only touch four. So at five, you really wanna to go to break even, but if you go to break even too early, this can quite often happen. If you had have got in and let it tick down four ticks, you can see it tick back up again and would have stopped you out. So now, what have I got just here? I've got a little bit of divergence. I'm not gonna scroll these along yet. Let's just keep trading this, but let's just look for our trend trades. So what I'm looking for is here is look at the trend. This is what you call a fanning of the EMAs, right? This is called a fanning of the EMAs. And this black dot is what we call a T20. It just indicates to us <clears throat> and a, a very simple rule on a change in trend direction. Now, 
there's a number of times when it doesn't work, it can be choppy, but that's just what it is. It's simply just a crossing of certain EMAs, very simple. So here, look at this fanning. We can see here that my 34 is under my 89. There's no rocket science in these. What I've got is an 89, 34, 21, and the trigger line here is my eight and my 200. What I'm now looking for here, look at the strength of the trend. I'm now looking for my first reversal candle. Now, as much as the white candle pops up, that would have been red. That's your get ready, get set, go. Now, you could either, either there use a um, uh, use a market order or uh, put in your sell stop, okay? And what we're after is a minimum of six ticks in this move. Now, let me just remind you, I want to place my stop one tick above just here. Now, what's important, uh, and let me just, I'll just scroll this along because I don't want to see what's in front of us because that would be cheating. <laughs> but what I want to show you is this Oh, and that's it there, uh, is pivots. What is really important, traders, is floor pivots are absolutely critical to your success as a trader, as are the major EMAs on your anchor charts. Your major EMAs and floor pivots are what we call price magnets. They will attract, uh, attract and reject price time and time again and you must understand how to trade them. They will make you a lot of money. So what I was about to say here over with this potential trade here is I was just wondering where, now this is midnight, okay? So my pivots, I run 24 hours, so they've rolled over. So I've always got a screenshot of my chart so I know where my pivots uh, are, right? Because that's very important for support resistance purposes. So we're short, okay, so away we go. Um, I think I got the right spot, was that it there? Yeah, that was it there. Oh, here, now this one here, uh, I didn't get stopped out. Actually, I thought I got stopped out here. If I, I think I'm at the right spot and I actually didn't get stopped out to actually here. But anyway, I've got this pullback, so now I'm short. So that was a loss, okay? Um, and down we go, so we're short. So we want to, I don't know where our pivots are, but that is an important part of our trading. Okay, and down we come. Okay, now what I'm looking for, oh, hang on, yes, maybe that was, oh, I don't know, I've lost my spot. But anyway, what doesn't change is the angle and direction of my EMAs just here. So I've now got a retracement coming back up here. I'm looking for my first, and there it is there. My get ready, get set, go. And depending on the type of order we're in, we want a minimum of six to eight ticks. And down we go. Now, and there's the pivot bounce. And this is why it is so important you know where these pivots are. If you don't, so many traders will do like what we've got just here. Now, yes, you can sell into this pivot. And this particular pivot here is called a midline pivot. That's the 50% level between your standard pivot. So what you've got is the floor pivot, your middle pivot. Above, you've got your R1, your R2, your R3, your R4, R5. That stands for resistance. Under your floor pivot, you've got your S1, S2, S3, S4. That stands for support, the S. But what you've got in between is a little known secret, is the 50% levels in between a golden for these bounce points just here. Now, looking at this, I don't have any reason here to take this as a divergence trade, right? I've got on the short term. Now, normally I'd be looking at my anchor charts, which we're not gonna do now. So let's just read this chart. Now, I do have a reason to take this. What I've got is a little double bottom with divergence. Now, when we take these trades, this is where I say to traders, at times you've got to be willing to take what the market will give us. And what do I mean by that? With a trade entry, we have always must consider what is in front of us, traders, okay? Uh, where is our closest 
resistance support areas. For an example, the 89 EMA is one of the most powerful EMAs you'll trade with or against. So here, typically, we would have, as you can see, we've had happen a number of times here, a bounce. If we break the 89, we'll usually go up to the 200 and hit that and bounce. So I've got an entry, which is what we call a T7, double bottom with divergence. So one, two, whoops, I, I'm still long. Two, three, four, five. Now, um, now it is there. You would get the bounce six ticks right at the 89. Okay, now what do I do here? I'm definitely going to sell here. Look at the trend. Now, if you were looking at your anchor charts here, traders, you would see your anchor charts are also in a very, very strong downtrend. So let's sell this again. I do want to get past the pivot. That always makes me nervous. Okay, uh, coming down, coming, remember our stop is one tick above, so we're okay. We're coming down, coming down, coming down. And we're at the pivot now. Look at that there. See that there, traders? This is profit taking right at the midline. So many traders don't understand how important these are. All right, so we're still in. We pop down even further, okay? And we now have a new low for the day. So let's have a look at the anchor charts. And here is why. See the extent of this move? One leg two leg and it's really almost three legs down what that tells me is that on the anchor chart and we will finish up on this because we are 36 minutes in on the anchor chart you will usually have divergence okay at this point so let's have a look okay so at this point what I've actually got here is virtually no divergence here on the anchor charts which really surprises me let me just pull this right over so I'm going to check and I'll show you a little trick here. Now down here, note this, I've got uh, no divergence. That's too big picture. It's over too wide a spot. Really no divert, a tiny bit on my anchor chart. So what I do then, this is where we look at the tick chart. So let's have a look at the 55 tick chart. Now, this tells me a different story. This is the Jake Bernstein thing. No time to explain that. Look at this. Okay, what I've got on the 55, 144 and 377 tick is what? Here is the divergence. Here is the divergence. And here is the, now this is live. So I'm not making this up. You can see it. And actually, if you look at this right now, we're getting a bounce but right now, and I'll show you this in a moment, how important these EMAs are and why I teach my members to trade them because they're just so logical. Now, just remember, I'm getting a bounce at a 200. You'll see this in a sec. Divergence, divergence, that's what we call a 3D traders. All right, you want to go long. Now, that would be on another screen. So you're going to go long here at this point. Where's your target? When we have a 2 or 3D, we have two targets, the Cyan, the 89, and the 200. Okay. Now, when we come up here, see that tail, a little bit half here to see? That's profit taking right at the 89. And coming up. And there we are, right there at the 200, like clockwork. We see these patterns each and every day. So traders, what I've just, and see here, this is where you've got to really watch this. You've now got a new higher high just here. See this? What you've got to be careful of is when you start making new higher highs, particularly after two or three legs down, is it going to be a change in market direction? Now, what I want to show you is this. Just watch this on the anchor charts. Look at the major EMAs. Lo and behold, look what we're bouncing off. Lo and behold, look what I'm bouncing at. Now, this is what we call a 200B. 
not as high probability as a 2B. And this one here, it's a deep pullback. However, it's a good 70, 75% trade. Give me those, um, uh, those stats every day, those probabilities every day of the week. Resistance above and resistance. Now we can still break that, but we believe in probabilities. Now, see how it's reversing. Now remember what we're looking for. Three lower closes. How many closes did you have? Two. Two. It's very important you get those three lower closes. Okay, and there, that would have just kept you out. And here is why. And just the last tip, and I am 40 minutes in. See that tail just there on your anchor chart one. That looked like a reversal candle at the time. If you wait, if ever you get a really deep pullback, what you want to do is wait for the candle to close on your anchor chart one. You wait for this candle to close. Okay, you want to see this close, which means it's going to put you in two ticks later, but it's a great confirmation tool to wait for that. So traders, we will finish up. Thank you very much. Uh, very, very important. Become a member. It's as I mentioned, for $197, you get my entire program and eight live two-hour sessions. We run those sessions every uh, Tuesday and Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we cover the world's really the best trading strategies. And I know some of you would still be watching. And just to show you, if you haven't seen what I do, I've been doing this for many years, 27 years. I've got the best strategies. The boards down here, you may be wondering what they are. When I trade, I have my cheat boards there. I shouldn't call them that. They're really my shortcut boards where I've got my special brackets made up. And what I do is I have them propped around. So rather than flipping through a folder, just reconfirming everything, I've got all of my rules like clearly laid out in front of me there. Now traders, if there's a better idea or a strategy, I will tell you about it. Uh, I, you name it, I've got it as far as trading programs, books, etc. And so what I give you is really is a massive shortcut to success as a trader. Trading the AUD and the, the Forex markets, I'll turn this off now, is that I show you the shortcuts and I've got the cheat sheets. And I'm trying, actually, I should tell you, I'm actually changing the name. We've been talking about this with my members. I'll just quickly show you this. We're just quick reference guide playbook <laughs> we're, um, because we don't like the word cheat sheets, okay? We've been talking about this with the coaching members. So <laughs> we're going to rename all of our quick reference guides or whatever we're going to call them. So I've covered a lot of information. Uh, go and visit my website. I've become a member, $197. Is, there's already hundreds of hours of recorded sessions there. But on top of that, you then get my live coaching. So thank you, traders. Uh, please give my video a big like, and uh, I'll see you on the next coaching video. And by the way, just on that one, just quickly see how we're going. Okay, so we've now got, as you can see there, a short signal. Okay, you've had your short signal, your candle has closed. Now, what also makes this good, at least in the short term, here's we've got some support down here. You've got divergence. Now, remember earlier I said, we've got to take what the market will give us. Notice how the 89's turning and see how my 34 is above there. What can actually happen? This can be a real support area and an indication of a potential in a market turn. So what that means is, if, if I tick down here, say five ticks or five pips, I would take half my contracts off, okay? Because quite often we'll get a bounce, particularly when we look at this here, we've had a bit of an extended move. One of the things we do do, and it's very important you do this, is extend out your higher time frames just to check out the waves there. Now, looks like we're ticking, we're gonna perhaps tick through, let's just wait a second and see if we get through this. We, what, if we break this 89, we got the potential to go back down to the pivot again, all right? Because remember, the major EMAs are like pivots and that's one of the secrets that most traders don't know. 
midlines and the support resistance off major EMAs. Look, I'm 45 minutes in. I will call it stumps here, but that's what I'd be looking at. Do I get a change in market direction to go long here? All right. So that's what I'd be looking at. So thank you, traders. Um, uh, become a member. Uh, worst case, go and um, download my uh, training manual and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.